Hi there and welcome back. Well the second main um, style of real nappies is the shaped nappy. Shaped nappies represent the biggest real jump forward um, in, in real nappies and, and it's what makes using real nappies the modern alternative that it really is today. Um, just briefly, a shaped nappy looks like this. It's got side tabs, the front folds down, you pop your baby inside, fold this up through their legs, up to their tummy and close it like that. It's very, very simple. Um, the, the, within, within the sort of category of shaped nappies, there's loads of different options that we also need to look at. Now the first one is obviously the fastener. We're going to look at this in more detail down the road because there's some ins and outs in to, with fasteners that are quite interesting to look at. But just for now, the three main fasteners are Applix, and this one is um, an Applix nappy. It fastens there and there. It's made out of a hook and loop, which is which is effectively Velcro, but we're not allowed to use that name because it's a trade name. Uh, very easy to open and close, and that's number one. The second type of fastening, excuse me while I just find it, is a nipper fastening. Now, this nipper is a rubberized item which has little plastic teeth. Oh, I'll just show it up to the camera there on the inside. And it's very, very simple to use. Effectively, it, it um, replaced the nappy pins that we used to get. And you pop it round to the side, to the other side, and then down below. Now, this isn't going to be working very, very well there because without a baby inside it, it doesn't have much grip. But basically, it grips into the fabric there. Um, it means you can fold your nappies really nice and tight. Um, obviously not tight for your baby, but nice and snug on your baby so it's not going to come off. Um, and it's a much safer system to use than the nappy pins that we used to get. Um, obviously, because you've got such a thick amount of fabric there for them to go through, they had to be huge and there was huge grave danger of impaling your baby with one of the old pins. Um, so that's fastener number two. And the third kind of fastener is the popper. And I'm going to show you this on a mother ease nappy. With the poppers you generally have a row of poppers across the front there and then you have the fasteners on the side and they just fold over and they click in like that. And then the same happens across the other way. So those are the three main fasteners and as I said we'll go into more detail about them a little bit later. The next thing that we should really look at is the fabric. Now real nappies these days come in a huge and frankly quite bewildering range of fabrics. The first one that I want to show you is bamboo, which I'd already mentioned before when we looked at unshaped nappies. And this Totspots nappy that I showed you with the Applix fastening is bamboo. You can see it's a lovely soft terry. Um, the second fabric is cotton. Cotton is still sort of regarded as the mainstream for most of these things. Um, this is a cotton, just a normal plain cotton, it's a lovely soft fabric again. And the third one that, uh, sorry, and, and on top of cotton you also have the organic cottons which is obviously a great leap forward in terms of their environmental um, impact and this nappy here with the nipper on is an organic cotton, looks very similar. Um, I can't compare it with the Motheries because it's a different brand but compared to for instance a Totspots cotton terry shaped nappy it's much softer um, and it's just it's just got that slightly um, more high-end feel. There's another fabric that is used in real nappies and I'm just going to show you here. It's, uh, it's not a natural fabric, it's made, it's made out of a similar thing to fleece. It's a micro terry, it's quite thick, so for people who are concerned about the fitting of their nappies it may not be the best option but it's very very absorbent and it dries incredibly fast which is a huge bonus. Um, like a fleece, if anyone's got any old sort of fleece jumpers or fleece coats, it dries, you know, it's, it, it is in effect a fleece and it dries as quickly as that. In terms of drying times, bamboo is very, very absorbent and it's, it's slimline for its absorbency. Um, but it, it's actually what we call a very thirsty fabric, so it holds on to the moisture and it dries much slower than others. Um, cotton is probably the, the, the in-between. It's absorbent enough, but it dries quite quickly. It's quicker than bamboo, slower than fluffle, but it's a nice slimline fabric still. So there's lots of different options depending on what's most important to you. Um, after the fabrics, the next real thing to look at is the fact that you have two-piece systems and one-piece systems. Now one-pieces are mainly known as all-in-ones, um, and I'll just show you here. 
the one that I was showing you with the uh, micro terry fabric is the Bambinex all-in-one. As you can see, you've got the wrap element here, and when you open it up, you have an integrated fabric element. Now on this one, it's not sewn in the whole way through. On the second one that I want to show you today, it's sewn in the whole way down. Now with um, all-in-ones, you do get inevitably a slight loss in performance. They won't perform as well as two-piece systems just because when you have a seam between fabric and outer wrap, you're always going to get a little dip in performance. But the modern kinds of these, and for instance this Top Spots one which launched this year, are really amazing in terms of the leaps forward and we find that they're a very popular choice for people who have grandparents or childminders or nurseries changing their babies and they may be reluctant uh, real nappy users or just pee parents themselves who aren't that sure about whether it's going to be easy because obviously all you have to do is pop the one piece on and it's as simple as changing a disposable. With the two-piece system you have the real nappy which we've already looked at and it's just the cloth element. Once you put it on you'll put the wrap around it and um, we're going to be looking at wraps in some detail further down the line. The final thing to look at is the sizing of the nappies. We have nappies that are either one size or come in a range of sizes to fit from, from a young baby to an older baby. So for instance, if we look at the two tot spots nappies, the applics and the nipper that we've been looking at, you can immediately see the size difference there. Because that's applics fastening, that will only fit a size two. That's a size one because that's the size it is. You can't make it any bigger. But what I want to show you is that with a nipper fastening size two nappy, for instance, this Diddy diaper one, this is from Nature Babies. It's, called, it's actually called a Micro Diddy. Um, it's their Diddy diaper with micro fleece in it. And I'm just going to take this nipper off the other nappy that we had it on. And basically, this is the full size, size two nappy. When you open up the side tabs, you can fold that element down and doing that adjusts the rise and the rise is obviously the height from top to bottom of the nappy. Once you've done that you pop your side tabs over and then you can put your nipper on like that and that gives it a sizing that will fit from birth to potty. The second sort of adjustable nappy that will fit from birth to potty is the motherese one again. Now I've already shown you the row of poppers in there but similarly if you fold that down, lift it up, what it reveals is a second row of poppers that you can see along the bottom there. And what you do is you then fold the tab across and because on the outside of the tab you've also got a popper there, so you're not just limited to the ones inside, you can fold it across quite far and then fold this one across and popper it shut. So in that way this nappy is a one size nappy and it's marketed as a one size nappy. Many size two nipper nappies are actually marketed as size twos, but we say that they will fit from birth to poppy, potty as well. Um, the final thing I just want to show you about the sizings is when we were looking at these um, all-in-ones, this is applix fastening. With applix you can't have a size two that will fit from birth to potty, you can with popper and nipper. The reason for that obviously is that you would then have if you're folding it in, the applic sitting against baby's tummy, and if you're folding it down, you've got the material sticking out, and that means you're going to get the moisture wicking out onto your baby's clothes. So this is a sized all-in-one nappy, and that will come in various sizes, from small to extra large, to fit your baby as they grow. The second um, all-in-one that I showed you is the Tot Spots all-in-one, and what they've done, I'm just going to quickly unfasten it here, is they have a row of poppers down the front which means that you can adjust it as your baby grows and this will fit again from birth to potty. So those are the main options with um, shaped nappies. You've got your fabrics, your fasteners, whether it's all in one or um, two pieces and whether it's one size or size to fit as your baby grows.